So I don't know, call it something in the air this week, but we decided it might be a good idea or at least a bad idea that we'd share with you anyway. The top 10 worst pandemics in history. The top 10 worst pandemics in world history. First of all, I have found in talking to many of you that you don't know what the fucking pandemic, endemic, epidemic, you don't know the difference. So here you go. Endemic is when a disease is inherent to a certain area, like malaria is endemic to certain parts of Africa because it keeps popping up there over and over and over again. So when a disease is specific to a location, it is endemic to that location. An epidemic is when an outbreak of disease attacks many people at about the same time and may spread through one or several communities. And then a pandemic is an epidemic that has gone global. So here you go. Top 10 worst pandemics in history. And let's take them from the top in chronological order. The Antonin Plague, 165 AD. Death toll, 5 million people. The cause is unknown. Also known as the Plague of Galen, the Antonin Plague was an ancient pandemic that affected Asia Minor, Egypt, Greece, and Italy, and is thought to have been either smallpox or measles, though the true cause is still unknown. This unknown disease was brought back to Rome by soldiers returning from Mesopotamia around 165 AD. Unknowingly, they had spread a disease which would end up killing over 5 million people and decimating the Roman army. Next up is the Plague of Justinian, year 541 to 542. Death toll, 25 million people. Calls the Bubonic Plague, thought to have killed perhaps half the population of Europe. The Plague of Justinian was an outbreak of the Bubonic Plague that afflicted the Byzantine Empire and Mediterranean port cities, killing up to 25 million people in its year-long reign of terror. Generally regarded as the first recorded incident of the Bubonic Plague, the Plague of Justinian left its mark on the world, killing up to a quarter of the population of the eastern Mediterranean and devastating the city of Constantinople, where at its height, it was killing an estimated 5,000 people per day, resulting in the deaths of 40% of the city's population. And number three on our list is the number one killer of all time, the Black Death. 1346 to 1353, with a death toll of between 75 and 200 million people. The bubonic plague was the cause. From 1346 to 1353, an outbreak of plague ravaged Europe, Africa, and Asia, with an estimated death toll between 75 and 200 million people. Thought to have originated in Asia, the plague most likely jumped continents via the fleas traveling on the rats that lived aboard merchant ships. Ports being major urban centers at the time were the perfect breeding ground for the rats and fleas, and thus the insidious bacterium flourished, devastating three continents in its wake. Next up was the third cholera pandemic in 1852 to 1860 with a death toll of 1 million people. The cause, cholera. Generally considered the most deadly of the seven cholera pandemics, the third major outbreak of cholera in the 19th century lasted from 1852 to 1860. Like the first and second pandemics, the third cholera pandemic originated in India, spreading from the Ganges River Delta before tearing through Asia, Europe, North America, and Africa and ending the lives of over a a million people. British physician John Snow, while working in a poor area of London, tracked cases of cholera and eventually succeeded in identifying contaminated water as the means of transmission for the disease. Unfortunately, the same year as his discovery, 1854, went down as the worst year of the pandemic in which 23,000 people died in Great Britain alone. Then there was the flu pandemic from 1889 to 1890, with a death toll of 1 million people. The cause, influenza. Originally, the Asiatic flu, or Russian flu as it was called, this strain was thought to be an outbreak of the influenza A virus subtype H2N2. The recent discoveries have found instead that the cause was A virus subtype H3N8. The first causes were observed in May 1889 in three separate and distant locations, in Central Asia, Abthapska in northern Canada, and Greenland. Rapid population growth of the 19th century, specifically in urban areas, only helped the flu to spread. And before long, the outbreak had spread across the entire globe. Though it was the first true epidemic of the era, and bacteriology must have learned much from it, in the end, this flu cost the lives of over one million people. 
The next big killer was the sixth cholera pandemic of 1910 to 1911, with a death toll of over 800,000 people, the calls being cholera. Like its five previous incarnations, the sixth choleric pandemic originated in India, where it killed over 800,000 people before spreading to the Middle East, North Africa, Eastern Europe, and Russia. The sixth cholera pandemic was also the source of the last American outbreak of cholera in 1910-1911. American health authorities, having learned from the past, quickly sought to isolate the infected, and in the end, only 11 deaths occurred in the U.S. By 1923, cholera cases had been cut down dramatically, although it was still a constant in India. And then there was the flu pandemic of 1918, with a death toll of 20 to 50 million people. Another cause being influenza. Between 1918 and 1920, a disturbingly deadly outbreak of influenza tore across the globe, infecting over a third of the world's population and ending the lives of 20 to 50 million people. Of the 500 million people infected in the 1918 pandemic, the mortality rate was an estimated 10 to 20 percent with up to 25 million deaths in the first 25 weeks alone. What separated the 1918 flu pandemic from other influenza outbreaks was the victims, where influenza had always previously killed only juveniles or the elderly or already with in patients, it had begun striking down hardy and completely healthy young adults while leaving children and those with weaker immune systems still alive. And then came the Asian flu of 1956 to 1958 with a death toll of 2 million people. Another influenza. Asian flu was a pandemic outbreak of influenza A of H2N2 type, which originated in China in 1956 and lasted until 1958. In its two-year spree, Asian flu traveled from Chinese province of Gizhou to Singapore, Hong Kong, and all the way to the United States. Estimates for the death toll of the Asian flu vary depending on the source, but the World Health Organization placed is the final tally at approximately 2 million deaths. 69,800 of those were in the USA. And then only 10 years later, yet another flu pandemic, 1968, with a death toll of another million people. Another bout of influenza, a Category 2 flu pandemic sometimes referred to as the Hong Kong flu. The 1968 flu pandemic was caused by the H3N2 strain of the influenza A virus, a genetic offshoot of the H2N2 subtype. From the first reported case on July 13, 1968 in Hong Kong, it took only 17 days before outbreaks of the virus were reported in Singapore and Vietnam, and within three months had spread to the Philippines, India, Australia, Europe, and the United States. While the 1968 pandemic had a comparatively low mortality rate at only 0.5%, it still resulted in the deaths of more than a million people, including 500,000 residents of Hong Kong, approximately 15% of its population at that time. And of course, the most recent pandemic before the corona pandemic is the HIV AIDS pandemic, which at its peak was from 2005 to 2012 and has claimed an estimated 36 million lives. The cause of this is the HIV AIDS first identified in Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1976. HIV or AIDS has truly proven itself as a global pandemic, killing more than 36 million people since 1981. Currently, there are between 31 and 30 5 million people living with HIV. The vast majority of those are in sub-Saharan Africa, where 5% of the population is infected, roughly 21 million people. As awareness has grown, new treatments have been developed that make HIV far more manageable. And many of those infected go on to lead productive lives now. Between 2000 and 2012, the annual global deaths dropped from 2.2 million to 1.6 million. That was our most recent pandemic, and we shall see where we go with the coronavirus. But right now, a final note on this, there is the Ebola virus, which has killed thousands of people and is still confined to West Africa. It may someday be a pandemic, but for now, it's considered just an epidemic and is therefore not on this list. But keep your eyes open because there's a whole bunch of stuff out there just waiting to kill you. This has been a scary-ass pandemic report from the crypt.